Hello, this is J Star Wars 360 here. Yesterday, we received some tragic news. Disney has shut down LucasArts. Now, the reason for doing this is because they're taking, for a couple reasons. Number one, they wanted to take over. Now, they've taken over Star Wars. And they want to put focus on the new trilogy. So that meant shutting down like all the current projects at LucasArts, like 1313, which is dealing with between episodes 3 and 4. And that was one thing. But now, as again, as I said before, they've shut down LucasArts entirely. Probably because, I guess, they looked at their lineup of games and they weren't very impressed. So they've shut LucasArts down. Now, what do I think of this? Well, it's kind of tragic, because back in like the mid-2000s, 90s mid to mid-2000s, LucasArts was awesome. I mean, they were making so many good Star Wars games. We had the Jedi Knight games, we had the KOTOR game, KOTOR 1, which was, I loved the, the hell out of that game. Empire at War bunch of games. And then when Next Gen hit, we were I was excited because I thought we were going to get more great Star Wars games, but the quality went down and down. I mean, we had Star Wars Connect, which Angry Joe and John John put it very nicely. It sucks. And so yeah, so I guess Disney realized it and they shut them down. Now, the biggest downside of this is that we could possibly see the end of Star Wars games as we know it. I mean, this could be like the equip. to me this is like the equivalent of like when Rare was bought by Microsoft, which, I mean, I wasn't big of a Rare guy growing up, but I understand what it did to the community. And this is very similar. A company has fallen from greatness. Except, while Rare is still around, LucasArts, they're pretty much gone, so... That means we may not get any more Star Wars games. Now, from what I understand, I think they're still going to be publishing games under LucasArts, but LucasArts won't be developing themselves, they'll give them to other developers, I think. But either way, this could mean the end of Star Wars games. Now, the biggest game that a lot of people wanted from LucasArts that we could possibly not get now because of this whole shamil is The Force Unleashed Free. You guys, do you guys actually think I'm serious? No. It's Battlefront 3! The first two games were a lot of fun. Love the hell out of them. Loved, you got to relive all the battles from the movies. The Separatist, Clones, the Public, Empire, Jedi, on ground, in space, in vehicles. It was awesome. It was released about mid-2000s, right around... Battlefront 2 came out the same year as Episode 3, 2005. And it... Again, I love that game. Along with a bunch of other people. And a lot of us were... When the next-gen consoles came around, we were like... Oh my gosh, they're going to make another Battlefront for it. This is going to be awesome. It's going to be great. It's going to be online, better, bigger graphics, better gameplay, online. I really was looking forward to it. As time went on, we were like, where's Battlefront 3? I mean, we have these games for the handheld, but no Battlefront 3. And then some leaked footage came out, and we got all excited, and it's like, oh my gosh, Battlefront 3. But then it turns out that studio... Free Radical, who was working on that leaked footage, was shut down. And then we all got depressed again. And then Tuggy came along and he was found evidence that Spark Unlimited might have been making Battlefront 3. But then it just turned out it was Lost Planet 3. And now recently we've gotten reports of Star Wars First Assault, which apparently was going to serve as like the beta for Battlefront 3. By the way, if you haven't figured out, this is pretty much a Battlefront 3 prom promotion video or something. Yeah. 
So where was I? Oh, yeah. So first we saw, apparently this game was going to be LucasArts' way of testing the market to see if people were interested in Battlefront 3. And, but Disney shut him down, because again, shut it down, because again, they want to focus on the new trilogy. The n new characters. We can't focus on this old stuff. And, sorry, I lost my train of thought. So the game got cancelled. So LucasArts had no way of testing for a Battlefront free market. And this pissed a lot of people, including me, off, because I really want Battlefront Free. Like, seriously, where is Battlefront Free? So, now if LucasArts shut down, the odds of getting Battlefront Free are less and less likely. But there is hope. There is a campaign which I'm going to try and have a link for in the description, called Who Else Wants Star Wars Battlefront 3? It's a Facebook group that curr it's currently at 36,000 likes. It's basically a group showing support for Battlefront 3. If, we get it, if it gets enough likes, maybe it'll get some attention. Hopefully it does. But anyway, if you're seeing this video, just... Go like the campaign on Facebook right now, because they need all the likes they can get. And, so yeah, again, I'm going to try and have a link for the description. Sorry if this video is long, sorry if I prattled on and was a bit verbose, but keep in mind this is only like the third video I've ever made, so I'm still learning, still trying to get the hang of concise. I'm considering maybe having an outline or a script from now on when I do videos, just so I am more concise and don't prattle on, but yeah. So I just want to close off by saying, LucasArts, I was unhappy with you during these last couple of years, but when you guys were awesome, you made some really good games. Like, really good. And it's a shame that you had to fall from that quality and now are gone. Hopefully, this isn't the end of Star Wars games. Hopefully, we'll get more. Hopefully, Star Wars games will go back to greatness. But until then, the most we have to hope for is a good Lego game based on the new movies. And with that, this is Jay Star Wars 360, signing off.